Hello guys, welcome back to another one of Archer's Homestay Adventures, and in today's video, we're going to be treating the uh, bees with the powdered sugar, and this is part two, you can see the bees in the background. So this is the hive we're going to be doing our powdered sugar cleansing on first, I guess that's what you could call it. So, this is our smallest hive, I don't know if it'll make it through the winter, but... There's some bees in it. There's more bees in there than I think there is. Right, you can put the powdered sugar in there. Yeah. Mm. We got a little flour sifter. So, we're going to put some powdered sugar in it. So all of these <clears throat> frames don't have anything on them. We're not going to powder those because there's no bees on them. Um, we do have some bees coming up here. I don't think we're going to do anything with this top because there just ain't hardly any bees in there. So now this is where our main bees are. Again, they haven't drawn much. This is our swarm trap that we got late in the season. This will be our first one that we do the powdered sugar on. There you go. I'm just going to sprinkle the powdered sugar on there. I like that. Turn it over. And then, I was, when I was turning it, it got a little too much powdered sugar on the bees, so now I'm just going to tap it. And those bees are going to clean each other off. And hopefully they'll groom themselves and they will knock the, the mites off. We got capped brood in here, so we know there's a queen in here. Again, we're trying to keep it over the over the box so that queen doesn't fall out of there. We're also going to try and put it in there the same way we take it out. Same order. And hopefully that will knock those mites down. They'll groom themselves. They'll knock those, those mites off. Some will some might say that this doesn't work as well as some of the chemical stuff, but again, we're trying not to have harsh chemicals in here. We've got capped brood in here, which is good. So here is our main colony right there. There's only four or five frames. So we're really concerned about this uh, this hive, just because there's one, two, three, four, probably four frames full, maybe four and a half frames full of bees, and there's not very many bees in there. But we're gonna try and hang on to them as long as we can. Maybe they'll get some fall nectar flow and get going, get going good. You never know, don't give up on them. So 
that's all there is to it. Hopefully those bees will groom themselves. Hopefully those bees will knock the mites off and knock their mite count down. We realize that this is not going to be as effective as a chemical treatment would be, but it's also a little more organic. And um, what we plan on doing is doing it now. It's the 1st of August. We plan on doing it again sometime in September and trying to break the cycle of that mites. And uh, going into winter, their mite count will be lower. Because I don't believe you're ever going to get rid of all the mites, even with the chemical stuff. But at least they can maybe knock that mite count down and be a little more comfortable. So, we're going to go to the big one now. I'm bringing you guys over here. Oh, I wanted to show you something. We have this old Ziploc bag, or bag box. And we're putting our powdered sugar uh, sprinkler thing on it. So that whenever we set it down, we don't lose all that powdered sugar. It'll kind of keep it from falling out. So on this hive, we're going to start from the bottom up. So I want to take this thing apart pretty quickly. Take these three off. We're going to get those bottom bottom run uh, bottom frames powdered and um, then we can start doing it in the opposite order putting them back together where the powder will fall down on them so. Got a cockroach in there and then cool, you got the smoke on them? Yep. <coughs> we're pushing those, we're pushing those bees down into the hive. We get as much, so we can get as much powdered sugar as we can on them. Trying to smoke the bees, but we're also trying not to smoke ourselves out. So far, they're not being too aggravated. This is where Archer got stung. Good night, that's it. Begins. Now the fun begins. Like that. We're going to try and look for the queen as we do this. Hold on, let's not do that one yet. Okay. We're going to try and look for the queen, and we got a. Uh, marker and a we got a, a queen marker kit that we're gonna try try if we find the queen we're gonna mark her so just be looking for her. Got some larvae in here. I haven't seen the queen yet, but we very well could have passed her. Not looking too hard for her. I'm seeing some really small larvae. Probably some in and the comb's so dark, it's hard to it's hard to see. Anything. And we, it's been so hot and dry, it's a Carolinian, Carolinian, whatever bee, and a lot of times they will stop, I've heard, uh, producing eggs when it gets real hot and during the dearth. 
but we've had three inches of rain over the last week. Things are going to green up here. We're going to have a good fall, I think. So we didn't find the queen, but we're not really good at finding the queen yet. Go get the smoke. You work on the smoke. Get the smoke going again. There's so many bees in here that we don't want to roll them and kill a bunch of them, maybe take a chance of killing the queen. We're going to be real slow, be careful putting them in. In space, good. I'm gonna take this. Try to get some of these bees to go in the. Come on with smoke. Bees a little upset right now. They're swarming everything and everywhere. You gotta make sure that smoke ain't real hot for the bees because you'll burn them. And this is the hive we did the uh, test on yesterday. Queen's been up in here. The, there's, I've been seeing larvae. I do like these smaller frames on these medium uh, brood boxes versus those deep. They're lighter, easier to use, easier to handle. We got good cat brood on this one here. Hopefully, we can get some of these mites knocked down on them. By doing this way with the powdered sugar, you don't have to worry about pulling your supers off to uh, so your honey doesn't get. Um, Contaminated. Man, sweat's getting my eye. That's one bad thing about these suits. Don't base your decision on which suit you buy by if it says breathable or not because they're not breathable <laughs> they're not breathable when it's 100 degrees outside they're not breathable the bees are handling are handling us working them really well because it's so hot out so well, they're not too feisty they're just swarming a little bit it sounds worse than what it actually is you gotta talk to them girls too, tell them you're trying to help them out. That way they're not so so grumpy. You're like, alright girls, we just helping you out, trying to get the bugs off you. Even though you're a bug, trying to get the bugs off you. I don't know if a mite's a bug or not, but who knows. Some sort of living organism. Yeah. I'm sure somebody out there would correct me. <laughs> All right, we got all those done. We're gonna get get the space back out. We're handling it pretty good as for as hot as it is. And the fact that we're coating them with powdered sugar. Oh. Yeah, nice. That thing's heavy. Mm -hmm. Try not to smash too many of them in there. What do you think, Archie? Do we want to do these? Probably should. Uh, probably should. This here is got all full of honey. We're going to leave a lot of this for them this winter, so that they can that they can uh, survive and have something to eat. That one's got a good good honey cap and yeah, pattern on it. This has got a good honey cap on it right there. You see that? All that's capped honey. 
good. And it's looking like the next frames have got it, have got the same pattern on it too. Really good honey cap. Now this we don't, well this one's still the part of their brood box. We don't have the queen excluder on this, this one. We'll put the queen excluder on next. And so this brood box here, this is for them for the winter time. We could take some of it if we wanted to. But after last year, we lost uh, two of the three hives that we had. We're going to try and leave them a little more honey. But we could get some rain here this fall and still have another another flow of honey in the fall. And uh, we'll be okay at it. I bet you each one of these frames weighs five to seven pounds with the bees, the honey, um, all that, the wood, the frame, all everything. There's really good honey honey stores on here. These girls have been doing a good job. That's why we like the mediums versus the deep, because the deep frame, that's 10 to 20 pounds fully loaded with honey. We've got the queen excluder going on. Almost got me. Maybe got me a little bit. Didn't hurt too bad. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. Archer. Yeah. I say, since there's not many bees in this, what, I'm, what we're probably going to do is just end up just powdering the top. There you go. Let letting that. it fall through. They'll eat that sugar. Understand that we're not going to get all of these mites. We're just trying to knock them down without the use of chemicals. And so, if we can do that and do that again in September here, it'll be a good thing. Okay. Yeah. And with the chemicals, if you got to take your honey supers off that you're going to eat, you probably so you don't contaminate your honey. You probably don't want your bees being exposed to that either. Mm -hmm. So. We're not 100% use. We're not 100% against the chemicals. But we're just going to try and avoid as as long as we can, unless our mite population grows to some crazy number. And again, the reason why we did this on these two, because that one there, that one over here, it was a it was a light hive, wasn't doing very good. And this hive was huge, and they were bearding, where the other ones ain't bearding in the heat. So we're thinking that the mites may have something to do with that. We'll find out. We'll see here in the next couple of couple of months or weeks, I guess. So all that took about one to two cups of powdered sugar to um, make to do a to do that on both hives. So it doesn't take much. Another thing I wanted to point out was at the time of this filming, we have 97 subscribers, and I'd really like to get up to 100 this week. So, if you guys could do that, it only takes three more of you guys. So, share, follow, likes, make sure you subscribe if you have Tell your already. friends, tell your mom, tell your father, tell everyone you, you know. Your pa, granddad, yep. grandma. I'd, I'd really appreciate it, and I thank you guys for getting me up to 97 so far. Boyfriends, girlfriends, dogs, cats, whatever. <laughs> yep. Let's go eat. I'm hungry. Thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to show you the chick, or tell you about the chickens real quick we haven't had any more losses the silkies are still really dumb but uh yeah they're all doing fine so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on archer's homestay adventures bye